Indian men's hockey team's coach Graham Reed is focusing on the mental aspect of the game with the team before the Tokyo Olympic. Host India will take on Australia in the FI Pro League and the coach expressed confidence of a good outing against a fast-paced team. Yeah, look, the players are, are very confident. They're, uh, they're, we're training well. Um, yeah, look, looking forward to, to the match, to be honest. Um, and uh, we just need to make sure that, that, we, that we play with the same tempo and the same uh, vigour that we have uh, in, in our last two, two encounters. Yeah, oh, uh, that's that's hockey. I think uh, you know we, we've been working on our on our uh, goal shooting and uh, and our corners and, and, and everything else, and, and uh, hopefully we can we can do better with and, and convert the uh, the opportunities that we create. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather not chat about too much the the technical side of things. Pro suffice to say that. Uh, that Australia play a little bit differently to, to what the, the Dutch and the Belgians do and therefore we, we will be ha uh, having some, some different tactics in that regard and that's, that's what we've been, uh, we've been working through. Well, I, th I think if you look at, at Pro League games pretty much around, um, the second game is, is always, a, you know, or often is a turnaround. You know, there, there, there has been a turnaround. So, what what I try and focus on with with this group is to make sure that our our performances are consistent, and uh, that's what I liked about, as I said, about Belgium was that was that actually we played better on on Sunday than we did on Saturday. So the result isn't necessarily always reflective of of the way that that, that the game is played. If you understand what I mean. So yeah, so, so of course, uh, each team gets an opportunity to, to, to look at, at the other, you know, what they actually are. Cause so, you know, we make an assumption of, of the way that Australia is going to play based on what we have seen in the last little while. Um, and sometimes that's wrong, sometimes that's right, and you never know until you actually get out there and, and play. So often uh, on the Saturday night or whatever, in this case it's Friday, Saturday, on, on the night between between the games, then lots of lots of video gets studied, and, and uh, if things need to be fixed up or changed or whatever, then then, then that happens. Um, also, it's a mental challenge as well, and, and, I, and that to me is the most important thing that we need to practice. It's that it's that ability to be able to front up again and again and again with the same vigor and the same uh, tempo and, and uh, energy that that you produce in the first game. Well, um, I think uh, Belgians take on a, um, well, zonal and men on men is probably the simplest way of looking at things, you know, Australia play a, a little more, more men on men when, when they press. Also, at the half court press, they, they play zonal as well, so there, there isn't, there, there's not that much difference. However, Australia play, um, you know, a, a, a fast brand of hockey. Let me put it that way. So do Belgium and so do, so do Holland, but Australia have, have a way of doing it in the, that perhaps is a little bit different, um, which is why they've been very successful over the last little while. But um, I, I, I must admit I'm a coach that, that not necessarily focuses a huge amount on the opposition as much as I like to, to focus what I can change, and that is us. The way that we play, the way that we like to, to do stuff, that is what, what to me is, is the most important because you can, you can affect that. You can't, you can't change what tactics they're, they're going to play, but you can react to them in a way that... that so it's about um, giving us scenarios about, well, what if they do this, what if they do that, and make sure that our players are, are, have that ability to be able to change at the time. And that's, that's the difficult part. Because, as I said, you can predict that something's going to happen, but in reality, you're hardly ever right. What I, as, I, as I said, what I like about uh, Pro League is that you get a little bit of time to change some things and try different things, um, which you don't normally get to do during a tournament because you, you are back to back and, you know. Um, but, and, but the other thing is to practice that ability to be able to play at the highest level um, day after day or match after match. He, he, he has, he has a, a small ankle uh, bruising um, which uh, he should be right in, in uh, uh, probably two, two weeks, I would think, two or three weeks. So um, it, it's better that we rest him now 
Um, even though he probably is he's pretty keen to go, of course, out to go out and play, but uh, I think it's best for his for, for his future to uh, to to rest him, and that's why he's not playing.